Hello friends, I know I am posting this video after a long time because I was busy with some other work and I am so sorry about this delay. Okay, anyway let's get started. So in this video I am going to tear down the Amazon basic mini Bluetooth speaker. I hope many of you are familiar with this mini Bluetooth speaker. If you will ask my opinion, I would say that this speaker's output is really good as compared to its size and the price. I mean to say that you will never regret after purchasing this speaker. Unfortunately, I have tempered the speaker while trying to tear it down. However, later I come to know how to tear it down in a proper manner which I will perform in this video. So let's begin for it. However, before moving further, I would like to play an audio on this speaker. So I'm turning it on and I will connect it from my mobile phone. So I need to switch it to the pairing mode by long pressing the power button. And now the LED is blinking rapidly and now it is connected. So as you could see LED got stable and now I will play one track from YouTube. So this is the soundtrack from YouTube and I think you could notice some vibration in the background and that is due to the damage which was made by me while opening it up. So uh, let me just insert it. Out. Okay, so if I'm holding the damaged part with the help of my thumb, as soon as I am holding it, the sound is getting recovered. Somewhat it is giving a better sound. So, as you could see, as soon as I am holding that part properly, so it is giving a good sound. So I will turn it off now and start opening it up. So this is the portion for USB charging and you need to take out this upper cover. It will just come out smoothly. There is no any glue or no, nothing in there. So you can take it out very easily. So you will get three holes after removing that cover so just remember that this cover which i have removed is the rear side of the speaker so be careful while removing this cover and now i will quickly remove these three screws to check out what is inside the speaker so i'm making this part fast forward to save the time okay it's done so let's remove this cover as you could see this is a dummy diaphragm to create to boost up the bass effect so due to this more air vibration will be there and bass effect will be increased so that's why this dummy diaphragm has been implemented on this speaker so this is the sealed to make it splash proof and yes you could take it out in a rainy day or else you could take it to your bathroom in case you like music while bathing and rest depends on your choice so here i am trying to take out this rubber seal i think it will not come out until i will unscrew this pcb board so i will unscrew the pcb board quickly so uh, let me try once again to take out the rubber if it is coming out without taking out the pcb so i think it will not come out as it is stuck inside the pcb so now i will take out the pcb board by taking out these screws quickly 
So I will make this part fast forward to save the time. Okay, it's done. So oh, it came out very easily. So it got tempered and I broken the rubber sealed of the speaker. So this is the PCB and beneath the PCB you could see the speaker is there along with the mic microphone is also there and LED is also available on the speaker side so you could see very clearly so this is the speaker and it is really a small speaker but it is having the bass effect so I think it this speaker might be of 8 ohm or more than that so I will just disconnect the speaker cable as well as the mic cable. This is the mic cable, microphone cable. And this is the PCB which is having the Bluetooth module. You could see the Bluetooth module on this PCB board. So this is the antenna, Bluetooth antenna. You could see zigzag copper line. So this is acting as a Bluetooth antenna and this is the Bluetooth module which has been embedded on the circular PCB. So these are the Bluetooth components and the chip which is fixed on it. So just I am focusing it, trying to focus it. So you could have a close look on the chip. So just take a close look on the PCB these are the buttons and this is the battery this is the USB micro B type USB power supply for charging it so that is it and if you will see the rear part of the cover, you will get the speaker, the LED and the microphone, which is fixed with a glue on this upper cover, the front cover. So this is the hole provided for microphone. And this is the microphone. So I'm switching it on to check it out. Everything is connected, not everything, but the battery is connected so it will work. And it is in pairing mode. So let me just connect the speaker because switching on without a speaker it doesn't mean anything because you couldn't able to listen the audio and I want to listen the audio in this stage when it is open so I will just connect the microphone and the speaker cable so this is the microphone cable anyway it is not necessary to connect the microphone cable to play an audio but I am connecting it and this is the speaker cable so let me just connect it out. Okay, it's done. So now time to play an audio. So let's turn it on. OMG, why does it vibrate it like a hell? So let me just check it out. And still it is. Okay, this is screw got stuck on the diaphragm of the speaker due to which this vibration was created. Now it's okay. Yeah, that is okay. So let me just connect it from my media device. Okay, so here you could see it is 
quite uneasy to hear this sound because it is open and I am increasing the volume so this is the maximum volume so right now it is it is like completely unassembled and that's why the bass is not bass effect is not there but it is working fine and uh, I hope if I will assemble it up properly definitely it will give a better sound like it was giving during the when I have purchased it so this is a soundtrack from YouTube let me just turn it off it's enough so now the thing which I need to do is that I need to repair that rubber which I have broken because if I will not repair this rubber it will give more and more vibration and the air will leak due to which base effect will be decreased so I will just take out the quick adhesive and let me just open it up so I need to be very careful while applying a quick adhesive on a rubber because applying more adhesive will harden the rubber and it will lose the rubber properties so I need to be very careful I will do it in a step by step first of all I will check out the small cracks or the small broken part in this rubber and once it will be dried up then I will proceed for the next because joining all at once is not possible because this is flexible so I will do it in a step by step so this time let this portion to be dried up then I will proceed for next okay now time to fix another part so I'm applying the adhesive and I will hold this properly so that it could fix in a proper manner sorry this part is out of camera frame let me just get it into the camera frame okay I need to hold it for a moment so that it could join properly okay I think it is fixed properly and let me just check it out from each and every side in case any cracks is still there so it's done so no time to fix it up so anyway it is okay now so now I will fix this so first of all you need to fix this rubber sealed on the front cover so there is a groove in which you need to fix this rubber sealed just you need to keep in mind that the plastic edge should get inserted properly into the rubber sealed groove so here I have tempered the plastic which I told you previously so it is it it just got bended a little bit so I am just straightened that part and then the rubber can get inserted so this is a bit tricky you need to keep patience while doing this so anyway you can see it got fixed So in the same manner I need to insert 
the whole rubber around the edge of the plastic. So uh, it got inserted properly. So now I need to oh, here uh, the button is not inserted into its proper position. So I will just make it out in a proper manner. Okay, so taking out the PCB helped me to fix it. So now I got it. So before fixing the rubber, I need to take out the PCB and first I need to put the rubber on the edge of the plastic and further PCB can be fixed. So it's done. And now I need to screw the PCB. I mean, I need to tighten up the screws on the PCB. So let's do it. And I will make this fast forward to save the time. So as you could see, the rubber is fixed properly around the edge of the plastic and PCB has been tightened up. So now the time to fix the rear cover, rear chassis. And now let's fix the remaining part that is the rear chassis and just take care of this. This will goes here. So just uh, place it properly, place it on the proper position and push it. A little push will fix this. As you could see, everything is proper. So now I will tighten these screws. Again, I will make this fast forward. okay it's done now so as you could hear the sound so no air leak is there it is giving a proper sound now i will fix this remaining part the upper cover and it's done so now time to check it out whether it is working properly or not or it's having any problem so I have switched it on and I'm connecting it with my media device. And I will play the same track once again so that you could able to get the difference. So let's pick. So this is the track as you could hear the sound and uh, you might get the base of this track also so i'm making the volume at the maximum level okay, it's full now so you can hear the sound it is pretty good and what I feel it is giving the same sound when I have purchased it. So the repair worked for it. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, if you are having any queries, please do comment in the comment box below. And also like, share and subscribe the channel for the upcoming videos. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.